To the Minister of Corrections, what progress is the government making on its commitment to increase the number of prisoners receiving drug and alcohol treatment? The Honourable Judith Collins. Uh, Mr Speaker, I'm very pleased to report that tomorrow I will be officially opening the first of three new drug treatment units in our country's prisons. The new unit at Otago Corrections Facility shows that we are delivering on our promise to double the number of prisoners receiving drug and alcohol treatment from 500 to 1,000. Two further units at Whanganui and Auckland prisons will be completed by 2011. They will bring the number of drug treatment units up to nine. Sandra Gowdy. Mentry. To the Minister of Corrections, why is the government committed to increasing the availability of alcohol and drug treatment places? Honourable Judith Collins. Uh, Mr Speaker, the Department of Corrections is now managing an all-time high muster of 8,746 prisoners, in addition to more than 45,000 offenders serving community-based sentences and orders. We know that drugs and alcohol are major drivers of crime in New Zealand, and two-thirds of our prisoners enter jail with drug and alcohol problems. Breaking the cycle of drugs and alcohol offending is crucial if we want to reduce the number of people behind bars. Question number 12, Dr Kennedy.